Hey guys, it's Shannon. Happy Saturday. I know you might be surprised to see that I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial on a Saturday, but I'm actually starting my 12 days of Christmas series. So this is actually day number one of 12 days straight and 12 days in a row that I will be bringing you DIY Dollar Tree Christmas tutorials. So if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on all these great tutorials that I'll be bringing you over the next 12 days in a row. And hit that bell too so that you get notified when those videos do go live. And today I'm bringing you a very simple, quick and easy DIY tutorial using Dollar Tree supplies. So let's get started. So there's really only two items that you're gonna need for this project for sure. And the first one of course is your bell from the Dollar Tree. These are beautiful white enamel bells that come just like this from the Dollar Tree. So they're pretty by themselves, but we're gonna kind of rustic them up and give them a really pretty aged weathered farmhouse look. And all we need is a black Sharpie to do that. This is actually the third tutorial where I've created enamel look projects using Dollar Tree items and this one's a little bit different since we're not using paint we're going to be using a sharpie but I will link both the enamel tiered tray video as well as the Christmas bells enamel video down in the description box below so if you'd like to check those out and see how I use chalk paint to create this look you can do that after this video is over let's go ahead and get started and create an enamel Christmas ornament bell using a Sharpie and Dollar Tree ornaments. So basically the enamel look, this already has the enamel, the white enamel coating on it. However, some of the more vintage and antique enamel has a chippy look. So it's not just all this pretty white. It actually has some black little chips in it. So we're just gonna mimic that look with a black Sharpie. So what you wanna do is kinda go in where the edges are, where it would actually sort of chip, and we're going to just build in some of that black with the Sharpie and give it that chippy look so it doesn't look so perfect. And just draw it right on. And then you can also kind of go around the edges of the bell like this and just take your time and hit all these little spots, go around the edges and then add in your chippiness. So of course your ornament's going to be hanging like this. So you're gonna see more of the top than the bottom. So you don't need to worry about the bottom so much. But I would definitely add some of that black, the ink, to the top. So that you get that effect, just like that. So here's a look at a few of them that I finished. And they're just touches and hints of the chippiness with the black marker, so you don't wanna go too overboard. And of course, you could leave them the way they are. I think they're great, actually. I think they're really pretty. They have really great greenery on them with the pine cones and the burlap and the jute. But if you really like the buffalo plaid, it's really easy to just kind of tie on a little extra ribbon on here to kind of tie your whole decor together. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'll show you how to do that and I'll show them all finished up.
I really love that this is such an easy and simple way to update inexpensive items to really give your home that custom farmhouse look for the holidays. I hope this tutorial inspired you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. You can also share this with your friends and family and inspire them too. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, this is the first of a 12 DIY tutorial series where I'll be bringing you great projects using inexpensive Dollar Tree items. Don't forget to hit the bell as well so you get notified when these videos do go live. Thanks so much for watching. Happy holidays. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.